He was an African-American politician. He served as the United States Secretary of Commerce during the first term of President Bill Clinton's administration. Prior to this, he was chairman of the Democratic National Committee. He was the first African-American to hold these positions. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. As we're getting started, please subscribe to the Tyrone Bowman Tonight YouTube channel. You'll be glad that you did. Because what we talk about here is success, prosperity. We talk about heroes and heroines. We're talking about the movers and the shakers, known and unknown. We're talking about how to succeed in life, how to live, laugh, and love. Health, happiness, success, prosperity. It is all a part of the plan of Almighty God for us during our earthly pilgrimage. So never think that you're not supposed to be prosperous in this world's goods, and especially when it comes to money. Also, as I already said, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos that you come in contact with here on this YouTube channel. You'll be glad that you did. Check out the Higher Dimensions School for the Prophets at www.schoolfortheprophets.com. Leave your email address and they'll get back to you. Also, if there's a show topic that you'd like for me to talk about, hit me up at my email address, btyrone443 at yahoo.com. btyrone443 at yahoo.com. If you'd like for me to come and to be at your conference speaker, if that would be a conference speaker for you, or if you just like to have an inspirational, motivational uh, seminar, check me out. Give me a hit. <laughs> you can contact me at btyrone443 at yahoo.com. The topic of discussion on this evening on Tyrone Bowman tonight, it is the one and only Ron Brown. He is the former United States Secretary of Commerce. So let's get right down to it. It's a very interesting story. Ronald Harmon Brown was born August 1st, 1941, and he died, sadly, on April 3rd, 1996. Mr. Brown was an American politician. He served as the United States Secretary of Commerce during the first term of President Bill Clinton's administration. Prior to this, he was chairman of the Democratic National Committee, or known as the DNC. He was the first African American to hold these positions. He was killed along with 34 others in a 1996 plane crash in Croatia. God rest his soul and the souls of all that were killed on that day. Ron Brown was born in Washington, D.C. and was raised in Harlem, New York in a middle class family. He was a member of an African-American social and philanthropic organization, Jack and Jill of America. Brown attended Hunter College Elementary School and Rhodes Preparatory School. His father managed the Teresa Hotel in Harlem, where Brown and his family also lived. His best friend, John R. Naylor, moved into the penthouse while he was a student at Rhodes. Naylor was one of the uh, uh, other few black students who attended a Rhodes Prep. As a child, Brown appeared in an advertisement for Pepsi-Cola, one of the first to be targeted specifically towards the African-American community. While at uh, Middlebury College, Brown became the first African-American member of Sigma Phi Epsilon, a collegiate fraternity. Brown was commissioned uh, through the ROTC program as a second lieutenant of armor in the United States Army in 1962. After graduating from Middlebury the same year, he married uh, Alma Arrington. After tours of duty in Germany and California, deploying temporarily to Korea, he left the United States Army as a captain in 1967. Brown then joined the National Urban League, a leading economic uh, equality group, in the United States. Meanwhile, Brown enrolled in law school at St. John's University and obtained a degree in 1970. By 1976, Brown had been promoted to Deputy Executive Director for Programs and Governmental Affairs of the National Urban League. However, he resigned in 1979 to work as a Deputy Campaign Manager for Senator Edward M. Kennedy, 
who sought the Democratic Party's presidential nomination. Brown was hired in 1981 by the Washington, uh, D.C. law firm Patton Boggs as a lawyer and a lobbyist. In May 1988, Brown was named by Jesse L. Jackson to head Jackson's uh, convention team at the Democratic National Convention in Atlanta. Brown was named also with several other experienced party insiders to Jackson's uh, convention operation. By June, it was apparent that Brown was also running Jackson's campaign. In 1982, Brown was named deputy chairman of the Democratic National Committee. The same year, he began lobbying the U.S. government on behalf of the brutal uh, Duvier regime, which was then in power in Haiti. Over the next four years, Brown earned $630,000, helping to persuade the administration to continue aid to the government of dictator Jean Jade Duvier. Brown refused to drop the Duvier's despite being criticized for representing such unsavory clients. Brown was elected chairman of the Democratic National Committee on February 10, 1989, becoming the first African-American chosen to lead a major United States political party. He later played an integral role in running a successful 1992 Democratic National Convention, and Bill Clinton successfully uh, became president during his 1982 run. President Clinton then appointed Brown to the position of Secretary of Commerce in 1993. Clinton's uh, high priority was bolstering the economic, not diplomacy, and Brown produced results. He led delegations of entrepreneurs, businessmen, and financiers to South Africa, Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel, the West Bank, Gaza, Egypt, Russia, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, China, Hong Kong, Ireland, India, and Senegal. He was leading a trade mission en route to Croatia when all passengers died in the plane crash. During his tenure, Brown was in, uh, involved in the Commerce Department's trade mission controversy. During the Nanny Gate scandal, Brown admitted that he failed to pay taxes for his maid, who was an illegal immigrant. 40% of Americans called for Brown's resignation, but Brown remained in office. In 1996, before Brown's trade mission, he was involved, according to Wikipedia, in selling seats on the plane used for the mission to raise funds for Bill Clinton's election campaign. In 1993, Brown was alleged to have accepted $700,000 from Vietnamese businessman La Union in Ohio so that Brown would lift the embargo against Vietnam. And unexpectedly, on April 3rd, 1996, when Brown was on an official trade mission, a U.S. Air Force CT-43 modified Boeing 737, carrying Brown and 34 other people, including New York Times, uh, Frankfurt Bureau Chief Nathaniel C. Nash, crashed into a mountainside on approaching Croatia. The Air Force attributed the crash to pilot error and a poorly designed launching approach. Speculation about the crash included many government cover-up and conspiracy theories, largely based on Brown having been under investigation by independent counsel for corruption. Of specific concern, Brown was a trip Brown had made to Vietnam on behalf of the Clinton administration. I'm going to talk about our brother. When you achieve such a notable position, especially being the first African-American to do so. Criticism, speculation, innuendos of all kinds will come up against you. Just because someone uh, was alleged to have done something, that doesn't mean that it necessarily occurred. On the 5th of April, 1996, President Bill Clinton and First Lady Hillary Rodden Clinton uh, planted a white dogwood tree on a hill on the south lawn in memory of Brown and the others killed in the air crash. On January 8, 2001, Brown was presented uh, posthumously with the President Presidential Citizens Medal by President Bill Clinton. Twelve days before George W. Bush took office, the award was accepted by Brown's widow, Alma Brown. President Clinton also established the Ron Brown Award for Corporate Leadership and Responsibility. 
The conference board uh, administers the privately appointed award. The U.S. Department of Commerce also gives out the annual Ron H. Brown American Innovator Award in his honor. Many academic scholarships and programs have been established to honor Secretary Brown. At St. John's University School of Law established the Ronald H. Brown Center for Civil Rights and Economic Development in, in Memorial, the Ron H. Brown Fellowship is awarded annually to many students at Middlebury College to pursue research internships in science and technology. And the Ron Brown Scholarship Program was established in Brown's honor in 1996 to provide academic scholarships, service opportunities, and leadership experiences for young African Americans of outstanding promise. A memorial room has been installed in the Ronald Brown Memorial House in the old city of Dubrunet. It features portraits of the crash victims as well as a guest book. As the largest ship in the NOAA fleet, the NOAA ship Ronald H. Brown was named in honor of his public service not long after his death. The sector, the section of 14th Street between Pennsylvania and Constitution Avenue was renamed Ron Brown Way. In March 2011, the new United States mission to the United Nations building in New York City was named in Brown's honor and dedicated at a ceremony in which President Obama, former President Clinton, and the United States representative to the nation's ambassador, Susan Rice, spoke. In 1997, Daniel C. Roper Middle School in Washington, D.C. was renamed Ronald H. Brown Middle School in his honor. That school was closed in 2013. And the building reopened as Ronald Brown College Preparatory High School in 2016. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Ronald H. Brown, the first African-American Secretary of Commerce. You can achieve anything if you put your heart and mind to it. There's nothing that you can't do, and there's nothing that you can't achieve. Just remember, never surrender, never quit.